it going? So today on Big House Sport, we are here for part number two of Nas Plus of the 101 sports events to complete before we die on BKR Sports. And if you haven't seen part one of this list, you need to go and check that out right now before you watch this because there's some massive, massive plays on there. I'm talking massive plays. Go and check that one out and come back here because we've got another big time to go today. And just before we get into it, guys, just remember there is absolutely no order in this. There is no order. So don't think that I've rated any higher than the other. There's kind of small quirky little ones thrown in everywhere as well as you guys saw by the Grand, well, Grand Cinema Tournament. It's not exactly small, but it's, it's pretty bloody quirky. <laughs> but let's not be around the bush. Let's get straight into it. Here is part two of the 101 sport event to complete before we die of BKS Boat. <laughs> going to be on, then this would just be an incredible moment. And the reason why it's on here as well is because it's very, 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 very lucrative because it's very, 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 very expensive. <laughs> when you're courtside, you're sitting next to people like Jack Nicholson. You're sitting next to people like Kevin Hart. You're sitting next to people like Drake. It's just an immense experience, especially when you're watching such an incredible game on the court from like two seconds away. Like, you know, they can run into you. They can sweat all over you that close. You're literally so close to the action and it's just going to be a surreal experience. You know, when we're there, maybe they might even select you for a halftime shot, you know. Well, go for the 10 grand. Oh, no, I'm not an American citizen. I don't think I can actually win it. But I'm still going for that halftime shot, you know. I just give it a crack. I'm giving it an absolute crack and a half. I don't even know if I get even relatively close, but, you know, I, I, I'm giving it a shot. <laughs> Number 12, and we are heading over to Europe, to France, for the Tour de France. The Tour de France is one of the biggest sporting events in the world. It's the biggest cycling event in the world, and it's just got unreal scenery in the background that would just be incredible. Personally, I'm not a massive cycling fan. Personally, I like I appreciate the sport. I appreciate all sports for the athleticism that you need to have, especially the athleticism that you need to have in cycling. It's mentally and physically draining. So I do appreciate the sport. It's not it's not one of my biggest. It's not it's not one of my favourite sports in the world, but I can still respect it. That's upset. Also, when I've been having a look online, I have been seeing that basically everyone's saying that when you're there it's a completely different experience. And I can understand that because when you're at anywhere, it's always a different experience than when you're watching it at home. But the fact of the matter is, for this one, I want to be traveling along with them. I'm not going to be riding myself, but I want to be traveling through the places that they go to so I can show you how beautiful this race is and how really mentally and physically grueling it is. Now I'm looking forward to this one on the list because it's probably going to be one of the most beautiful ones as well. Like, look at these pictures. How good are they? Number 13, and we have the Winter Olympics. This one has to be on here because one, it's the Winter Olympics. It's the Olympics, so it's one of the biggest sporting events in the world. It's on Summer Olympics, but it's just something that you still need to experience in person. But I love skiing, I've grown up skiing. I'm really looking forward to getting to the Winter Olympics. And I know that the Olympics has a lot more than just skiing, I get that. But in the same sense, I'm just excited because I love the cold, I love, I love the feeling of when you've just had a massive down the slope and you come off and you have a nice beer. But moving away from the alcohol part, <laughs> the Winter Olympics is an absolute must for sporting fans. You never know where it's gonna be. Like, it could be absolutely anywhere in the world. It's not just in one specific place. So you get to experience different ski fields at different places. So with Winter Olympics, it's good because you also get to go to the ski field and just enjoy your time there. Well, you get to enjoy your time anywhere, but I just think it'd be a raucous time, say, going to Japan or, say, going to Switzerland or wherever the Winter Olympics are and just enjoying your time there whilst watching the best competitors in the world. Number 14, and we've got complete the New York City Marathon. And I said the first video, there is some physically demanding events in this list. I'm definitely referring to the New York City Marathon being one of them. This marathon goes through 42 kilometers and five boroughs of New York City. Now, I've actually been to New York City before. I was only, uh, I think, 11 years old, 12 years old, so I didn't get to respect or appreciate the city as much as I would now. But I already know how big New York already is. At 42 kilometers, it's a lot of kilometers to run. Especially for someone like myself who has never actually completed a real marathon before. So this one would take a lot of preparation. This would take a lot of work going into it and, you know, getting fit, getting motivated, which I love to do, which I really want to do. And this marathon, which is would, would be incredible because it's going through one of the greatest cities on the planet, usually takes people four and a half hours to complete. I don't know whether I'd take four and a half hours or probably ten and a half hours. But the point is, as long as I can complete it, that is one off the list done and dusted. I'm looking forward to this one. I'm not looking forward to it because I'm going to be absolutely exhausted. One for me would definitely be one of the most physically successful completions on this list. Next up, number 15, we've got the Australian Open Final. I don't think I need to tell you where that one is. I don't think I need to tell you it's in Australia, you guys. Well, again, there we go. I just told you it's in Australia. This tennis tournament is one of the biggest in the circuit and everyone flocks to Melbourne. Melbourne is pretty much the sporting capital of Australia and arguably it's one of the biggest sporting cities in the entire world. And all the competitors acknowledge that the Australian Open is one of the biggest, if not, well, if not the biggest, but it's one of the 
biggest event to win on the tennis circuit around the world. I think it'll be an incredible event. Hopefully Australian wins it. <laughs> Hopefully an Australian wins it when I'm there. Not that we've got too many quality Australian tennis players at the moment ever since Lake Hewitt went to see you later. But it's still going to be an incredible event. Number 16 and we head back to America for something that most people may not know of. But everyone in America, and I'm talking everyone in America knows this rivalry, college basketball, Duke versus North Carolina. And specifically for this one, in the student section. This rivalry in college basketball is one of the biggest in America. It was actually rated the number one in college basketball. I think it was number three out of the entirety of North American sports. From what I can gather, the intensity of this rivalry really comes down to the fact that they're only like 10 miles apart from each other. So it's really just like a fight for the dominance in the area. And when I say intensity, I'm talking intense. And that's the main reason that I want to be in the student section. If you're sitting on the sidelines, yes, you're going to feel the intensity, but you're not going to feel the intensity like the crazy fans in the student section. Number 17 on this list, and we're at the Monaco Grand Prix. This Formula One race is set in one of the most picturesque places of France. Monaco is known for its, I don't know, its wealth, its prosperity, its, its aesthetically pleasing background. A lot of people may know this, but I'm not exactly the biggest car racing fan. Like, I never really grew up supporting car racing and stuff like that. I more grew up supporting rugby league, football. I still enjoy watching when I'm there. I can't watch it at home. I'm not a fan of watching at home. But when I'm there, it's definitely more exciting and I can definitely get more into it when I'm there. This is also well regarded by pretty much everyone who's put on a sports bucket list before. So I definitely made sure, tuck that one on. Let's go experience the absolute beauty of Southern France. Number 18, and I'm pretty sure this is the first cricket event. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure this is the first cricket event that we've had on here. India versus Pakistan. <sighs> Anyone who knows the cricket world know how passionate these two countries are about their cricket. Cricket is the number one sport in these two countries. And off the pitch, and on the pitch, the Indians and Pakistanis really don't like each other. This is due to economical reasons, and political reasons, and religious reasons. That's kind of separate to the game, but I think it fuels the game even more because they just want to get another win over their biggest rival. India and Pakistan have been two of the biggest teams in cricket worldwide for the decades. They're just they're, they're two teams that you just don't want to come up against when you're talking about test or one day internationals. So to go to one of these games between these two real massive rivals, it had just been an incredible experience where everything is on the line. And I'm talking everything is on the line. The passion is just surreal. And I think that this is going to be one of the, the most heated rivalries on this list. 19, we've got the Rugby World Cup Final. This is one of the biggest events in the world. It's no surprise to say the Rugby World Cup Final is just, it's got to be on this list. It just, it just has to be. The Haka is something that you have to win as live, especially in the final or especially against Australia. Because New Zealand and Australia in rugby absolutely despise each other. Yes, one of the biggest rivalries in sport. Australia and New Zealand. Yes, we're like, you know, brothers and then New Zealand like the smaller brother. Not in the rugby union sense, but like in not just everything sense. New Zealand are kind of like the smaller brothers who are always trying to get one over the bigger brother. The big brother's usually the one. And let's not get into details, all right? <laughs> so to see teams like New Zealand and South Africa go head to head, or Australia and England go head to head, or like Australia and New Zealand go head to head in the 2015 World Cup final, this is truly one of the events to get to. And finally, for part two of the 101 sport event to complete before we go and pick our sport, number 20, we've got the Palio di Siena in Italy. And I think that it really works well that I move my hands a lot in these videos because, well, you know, when you go to Italy, they love to move their hands. They love to move their hands. The Palio di Siena is one of the biggest events in Italy. Nothing you may have heard of it because it's not like a world mainstream event. It's kind of like a smaller event worldwide, but a massive event in Italy. Basically, it's a massive horse race that encompasses all the different sections of Italy. As far as I can gather, it's, it's basically like all the different sections of Italy have their, their horse and their colours representing their area of the country, and everyone just get, really gets behind it. You'd want to get there early. <laughs> I'll show you a picture here. Imagine if you're in the middle of that. You're not even going to be able to watch the race. You're going to be there. You're going to be experiencing everyone going crazy. I don't even know how you'd... Um, you'd have to obviously bet before you go in because you wouldn't be able to leave until like everyone leaves because it's just so packed. I think this will be one of the most surreal events on this list. Anyway guys, that's going to be it for today's video. If you did like it, please give me a thumbs up so I know that you're enjoying this content and you want to see more of it. If you're a big sporting fan and you haven't hit the subscribe button yet, then what a bloody hell are you doing time? Firstly, what are you doing? Hold on, sit, sit, sit back a second. Just, just take a thing. What am I doing with my life? Because you need to be
be subscribed to Redcast Sport because we're going to go on this insane list. You need to hit the subscribe button to join us on this insane list that we're going to complete. We don't know how long it's going to take, but this list is going to be complete on Redcast Sport 100%. There's also eight more videos to go, guys. We've gone through 20 different sporting events around the world, and there is so much to go still. There is so much to go still. Finally, when you're part of the BK Army, you need to go and hit that and smack that notification bell so that you get a notification every time BK Sport uploads a video. Then you can go and come and bloody BK Army represent right here. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. See you guys later.